Now we try to find the magnetic field due to an infinitely long conductor. As a special case and in general for a very very long conductor. So we try to find, let us say we take a conductor who is from C to A to D to B. Current is moving upward as shown by this arrow and we want to find a magnetic field at the point P which is at small a distance that is the P the perpendicular distance from P to the conductor is small a. We name AP as small a, CPA is angle beta, DA as L and the small differential element which is kept here at point D and the DL to P we give a vector named R and the angle between DL and R is theta. So obviously the angle P D B will be theta. We name angle D P A as phi and the again extremity B P A is angle alpha. So these are the terms which we give prior to the derivation. So now we give mathematically also we have given A P as A, A D as L dp as r angle a p d as phi angle a p b as alpha and angle a p c as beta now we try to use the bayard savart law we know that the bayard savart law in scalar form is db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta we are left to convert everything in a single variable since in this expression if you change dl theta would change r would change dl would change so because of these three variables it is not simple integration so what we try to do we try to find the simpler solution by converting all the variables in terms of a and phi you know A will always remain constant and we convert all these values dl, theta and r in terms of A and phi. So first of all we say that L upon A is tan phi hence dl will be A tan phi and dl is A sec square phi d phi. Next comes the value of theta using the geometrical things we can say that theta is basically equal to 90 plus 5 from the triangle properties so now we convert sin theta also as sin 90 plus theta which becomes equal to cos phi and also since a upon r is cos phi so a is or r cos phi and r square will be a square sec square phi we place these values over here now substituting all these values in the expression of bayard savart law we write db is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i so we place the value of dl which is a sec square phi d phi we place the value of sin theta which is cos phi and in denominator instead of r square we write a square sec square phi which on simplification gives us mu naught by 4 pi i upon a into cos phi d phi next we are left to integrate but prior to integration we must know the extreme limits we know the extreme limits will be the upper limit will be angle b p a which is alpha and the lower limit will be a p c which is minus beta negative sign is taken because it is in the downward direction so our integral values will be from minus beta to alpha so we try to integrate this expression during integration what we use is b is equal to integral of mu naught upon 4 pi i cos phi upon a d phi from the given limits minus beta to alpha 
In this expression, mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a is constant. We take it out of the integral values. So now we are left only with the integral of cos phi d phi with the limits minus beta to alpha. You know integral of cos phi is sin phi. We integrate it and we place the values of alpha and beta. We get mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a sin alpha minus of sin minus beta. Since sin minus theta is minus sin theta. So ultimately the value on simplification comes out to be mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a sin alpha plus sin beta. As a special case, if we try to find out the case when the wire is infinitely long, you know that the c will go further downward and beta will tend to pi by 2. Similarly, if we go much ahead of b in the upward direction, alpha would tend to be 90 degrees. So for an infinitely long conductor, we can say that alpha and beta both would be equal to 90 degrees. So we substitute the values of alpha and beta as 90 degrees in that expression and what we get over here is mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a and within bracket sin 90 plus sin 90 which is 2. So for an infinitely long conductor this expression converts to mu naught upon 4 pi 2i upon a. Usually we do not cut 2 and 4 in this expression because the value of constant we know is mu naught upon 4 pi is 10 to the minus 7 si units. Hence in general we keep the values as mu naught upon 4 pi 2i upon a for an infinitely long conductor.